I want to turn back to the tropics tonight because we are keeping watch on potential tropical cyclone nine. This after a new track was released about 15 minutes ago and meteorologist Mike Prangley joining us now. Mike, you've been all over this. Yes, we're watching things closely tonight. We got the very latest and as we take a look at pop tropical uh, potential tropical cyclone nine, the latest track as of 11 PM really hasn't changed too much, but a couple different things, just subtle differences. Instead of a major hurricane moving by Tampa Bay, looking more like a category two, still moving north to north Gulf Coast of Florida toward the Big Bend and Apalachicola. And if anything, as I look at the latest trends tonight, let's take a look at some of these spaghetti models. OK, make some sense of this. So here's our storm uh, likely not getting a name. It'll be Helene. It looks like by tomorrow and then moves into the southern Gulf on Wednesday as a hurricane. So as we put the latest models into motion, one thing here that we do like here in Tampa Bay, we don't see a direct impact where this thing would take a right hook at this time. Right now, that chance of that happening is very very, very small. So that's the first good tidbit, but it does look like a Florida landfall, unfortunately. And of course, we have a lot of parents with students out at uh, FSU. We're watching uh, that carefully. OK, uh, Florida, of course, in Gainesville, uh, USF right now. But it looks like the biggest impact for any of our local colleges and the Floridian colleges would be uh, for FSU. So just keep that in mind. If you need to pick up your kids, if it comes to that, if this continues with this track, you want to make sure you get them back where they need to be by Wednesday evening. OK, so keep that in mind as we take a look at the latest tracks here. Let's talk about the meteorology behind this, why there's better confidence that it's not going to take a right turn into to us here in Tampa Bay. Well, we've got a big blocking area of high pressure, the same high pressure that brought us a record high of 95 sweltering degrees. OK, so the heat is our best friend in this pattern. And as I was telling Frank, also watching areas toward Oklahoma. Arkansas, Missouri. So this big upper level low, it looks like this storm, this tropical cyclone will take a little dance around that area of low pressure as it goes with the upper level winds. Again, that would keep it from taking that right hook as well. So we'll continue to watch that carefully as we take a look at the impacts. That's what our weather team's all about. We showed you the cone, but focus on the impacts where you see the yellow here and the orange. Notice the storms for all of Florida. OK, uh, we're talking about impacts well outside the cone where you see this yellow uh, shading. That's where we could have the power outages, some wind damage, some severe weather. So just keep that in mind as the storm moves up toward uh, areas of Apalachicola and the Big Bend. So for us here at home, OK, we've got a weather impact alert. You need to know Wednesday night through Friday morning. OK, that's when we just stay put. Stay with us. Stay tuned. We'll keep you informed, prepared and connected and calm. The impact storm surge and flooding. Those are the big two for us right now. I still think we will see a storm surge uh, many areas up over three feet. So keep that in mind. We'll fine tune that as we go through the day tomorrow. Damage and wind as well. We need to know your zone. Can't rule out any evacuations at this point and stay tuned for those updates. So as we take a look at the very latest, when will the winds come? Let's look at the impacts. OK, so the highest winds coming in Thursday afternoon, it looks like for most of us. OK, here's that line uh, just showing us 8 a.m. Thursday to the south and then I'll move to the north during the day. Also the storm surge. When's the worst of the surge? We'll see how the wind's going to start to really come on shore. OK, watch the timeline here with me. This is Thursday afternoon. That's when we'll start to pile up the water due to the wind and we're going to have to watch that very carefully. And it looks like the high tides come in. It looks like very late Thursday night into Friday morning. So the highest surge could likely be Thursday night into early Friday. So we'll keep an eye on that seven day forecast. Here we go. We are watching that weather impact alert where you see the red late Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. One more hot day tomorrow. So the good news is to make those storm preps tomorrow. We've got the calm and the hot before the storm.